Welcome back, audience. Um, we finished the mission. I didn't get the, you know, perfect stealth bonus, but whatever. I still got an A ring, and that's pretty fucking sweet. All right, let's continue with these tapes I got. Our brains could get heavier once they were supported by the spinal column. That led to the use of tools and the development of complex communication through language. Only man is capable of this. My creation will be the progenitor of all bipedal weapon platforms. And you did this for Cypher? No, not at all. Sahalanthropus is the best proof that I never betrayed you guys. What do you mean? The reconstructed Sahalanthropus skull looked exactly like the skull we used as our logo nine years ago in the Caribbean. An army without a nation. Outside the world order. The design was based on Pangaea, the supercontinent that existed 250 million years ago, right? Yeah. When the world was a single landmass, that concept's at the source of our strength. I felt the same way about Sahalanthropus. Sure, I was forced to build it under their orders, but I always wanted to put its technology back in our hands someday. That's the reason I incorporated the old insignia into Sahalanthropus's name. Don't you see? That's how much I was thinking about you guys. Oh, I see, all right. I see someone desperate to cover his ass. You can say whatever you want after the fact. But that skull also symbolizes somebody else. Skull face. Really? Snake, you finally came. Just don't record this, okay? I'm not recording anything. What's this about? What I'm about to say stays between you and me. It's about the weapon to surpass Metal Gear. <sighs> you know a researcher by the name of Clark? He works in the biotech industry. Real advanced stuff. His area is bioengineering, but lately he's also gotten into genetic research. Never heard of him. Well then, what do you know about cloning? <sighs> I think I've heard enough. Hold on, this is important. Cloning lets you create a genetic copy of an organism. You take the nucleus of one of its cells, and you swap it with the nucleus of an unfertilized egg from another member of the same species. They started out working with plants, but since then they've had success with other organisms, including mammals. It's a hot area for a lot of places right now. Corporations, universities, research groups. There's no shortage of scientists out to get famous and patent their work, with morality taking a back seat. Isn't that a little outside your field? Well, it's got nothing to do with my research. But I thought it might be of interest to you. Cloning. And Dr. Clark, I mean. Go on. Now, this is really highly classified stuff. But I've heard that an American biotech company has successfully cloned a human being. What's more, it happened over 10 years ago, and the researcher behind it was Dr. Clark. You've really never heard of him? I don't meet many doctors. This Dr. Clark is a complete ghost, even to others in his field. His age, where he comes from, that might not be his real name. And I can't even say for sure he's a he. Clark's employer, ATGC, its company motto is embracing your hopes, preserving talent. What does this have to do with me? Cypher. Dr. Clark works for ATGC, and they have connections to DARPA. Cypher couldn't function without the communications network DARPA's built. Meaning, Cypher has to be a part of the Pentagon. Or at least, the two are joined at the hip. DARPA is a driving force behind human cloning. It's a pretty high-priority project for them. And this Dr. Clark? Some say he's a pivotal player in Cypher. But that's not all. Every cell nucleus in an organism contains the genetic information for that organism. Think of it as a blueprint for life. Clark appears to be working on how to decode this information and rearrange it at will. If you could do that, it would mean being able to custom design human beings for specific purposes. Can you believe that? Suppose for a moment that this is all fact. 
A man of your talents. If your genetic information died with you, that would be a terrible loss for mankind. But what if mankind could preserve you for future generations by cloning you? All right, enough. I get the idea. Look, I know it's inductive reasoning, but this weapon to surpass Metal Gear they're developing in Africa, I believe it's something that uses this new technology. <sighs> Speaking as a fellow scientist, it chills me to the bone. That's rich coming from you. If genes serve as our blueprint, then I wonder if they include an impulse that drives us to tweak the design. Can you imagine that? Genes encoded with information that wants its children to decode it. Is life itself putting the direction of our next evolution in the hands of scientists? I guess it would take some real arrogance to believe that. And yet, it could be what Cypher's after. I think you're barking up the wrong tree. But that was an interesting story. It'd make a good movie. You have to believe me. Where'd you hear all this anyway? Where? I just overheard it in bits and pieces while I was forced to do that research for them. Right. W wait a minute. Look. I want to help you. I want to be of service here. I'm risking my life with this. Is that so? Maybe it's time we brought someone else into the conversation. No, not him. Not Ocelot. You can't do this. Wow, that was interesting, wasn't it, audience? There's a violent power struggle going on within the contract forces of Africa, the PF that ran security for the Mathinda oil field. Most of their key people are Afrikaners, but naturally for a South African organization, some of its founders are British. Details are sketchy, but apparently the Afrikaners are holding these British personnel for interrogation near Kaziba camp. We've been asked to rescue one of them, a man known as the Viscount. We don't have the Viscount's exact location, but he doesn't speak the Afrikaners' language, Afrikaans. They'll need an interpreter who speaks English in order to interrogate him. Meaning if we tail the interpreter, He'll lead us right to the target. By the way, the contract specifies that it's all right to ignore the other British prisoners. But the final decision is yours, boss. Are you fucking kidding me? Ah! What is up with this damn thing? up with this damn thing. Oh no, I gotta check something else. Uh, okay, here we go. Da, 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 da. Okay. Can I say what? What kind of bullshit this be right now? Oh, 
Hoping that it could be nightfall. That way I can, um... You know, do that kind of shit, man. But now... What is it, boy? Cool, another couple of minutes and this will be done. Good. Good dog. Yeah. Let's see what else is going on. Mission. Personal obstruction. Okay, that's in Afghanistan. Gunsmith. Get materials. And the rest is target practice. Ah, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright folks, I'm gonna stop right here. Okay, so um that was pretty fun. Ugh. It I was waiting for a sunset, that's why I used the phantom cigar, but it's like a full twenty four hours. I was like, man, this is some bullshit. Alright folks, if you want me to see, see more of me play Mer let's play Mercury Soft the Phantom Pain, please be sure to like, share, comment, and maybe click that subscribe button. Have a nice day. Say nada, deuces, I will see you hopefully next time.